Uh, this first one we have Feng Yang, Artemel, and Perna on defense. And Jean, Theo, and Triana. So I'm taking in a uh, Fire Paladin, Emesity, Bulldozer, and Fran, Hearn, and Miho. I recently acquired a Miho during the uh, last um, four-star summon event that also gave us the ability to summon a three-star because apparently uh, Comptuous was not seeing it fit to give me a Miho in the uh, light and dark summoning. So uh, what we got here, uh, Feng Yang and Artemel are both defense-based tanks. So. Uh, ignore defense is very strong against them. That's why I brought a Messity Bulldozer. Uh, Fire Paladin Ophelia is a defense uh, leader skill, 44%. Uh, so just increasing the damage and taunt allows my Messity to not worry about the Perna quite so much. And that's where I went with that combo. Now, I'm expecting the uh, Artemel to proc a lot. Uh, with the passive on my bulldozer because I do run high crit rate as most people do on their bulldozer because you want the ignore defense damage uh, But the Emesity here has about 15% crit rate and he does uh, manage to land a few crits on uh, The Perna which I don't understand the accuracy the uh, crit rate and all that stuff that comp to us says is in the game because uh, if he's at 15% and then gets minus 15% for elemental disadvantage, the crit rate should be zero, so he should never crit on Perna. But I think I hit three consecutive crits, or at least two. Uh, but overall, it uh, wasn't too hard of a defense to beat because uh, two defense-based uh, uh, units on, on defense, it's just... Uh, so many different options to uh, nuke that you could anything that ignores defense you could uh, bulldozer it call uh, it uh, Makes it pretty simple uh, now this one here was me playing around a little bit. I just reruined the uh, Water dryad because I've been a big fan of this uh, you guys have seen it in my previous videos uh, I even did a highlight of the water dryad because I think it's a particularly amazing unit um, I uh, fell out of my favor for a little while just because after having 270 uh, 6 star units I, I had better options but with the last update that they did uh, for the uh, water dryad where they added the uh, 3 turn defense break and 3 turn oblivion I'm having to uh, find more roles uh, or more usage for this uh, particular unit. It's a, it's a great unit. It's not bad in the slightest. Like I said, I just have a wide variety of units to choose from, so. Uh, but I definitely will be using uh, the Water Dryad more in the future because uh, just like the meta uh, four star towers and siege, you see a lot of Mihos and whatnot. So, I mean, this pretty much just uh, a, a well ruined one will eliminate the threat that, that at least it gives you one more attacking opportunity on that particular four star tower if they uh, decide to stack nothing but Miho in it. Uh, this uh, guild match I was pretty unfortunate because I only landed half the debuffs each time even though my uh, Hearn is running about 80% accuracy uh, but uh, resistance lead and, you know, defense always gets a plus 100% to all their stats anyway, so that's how that worked out. It just took a lot longer than I expected it to. So I was looking forward to playing with my new uh, Miho and trying out the new build on uh, the Water Dryad. And Fran is OP as Fran does. Now you notice that uh, this uh, Triana always has the second skill available when it's on defense, but when you use it on offense, it's not available so uh, obviously they have a cooldown reduction for uh, Triana on defense but no complaints um, the defense itself uh, 
not too hard to overcome. You could have taken multiple units into this and done just as well rather than taking uh, three and four star units in. Uh, the only threat really here was the Jean uh, with the uh, two turn provoke. But even then, uh, that's why I brought Fran. Uh, two turn immunity and Fran has a tendency to proc quite frequently. So you usually have immunity when you need it. Uh, still working on building the Miho. But it will get there. So we'll move on to the next one. So we have a Chiwu, Savannah, and Varad on defense. So I brought Fran, uh, Fire Sniper, and Iris. Um, pretty simplistic thinking for me on this one. Uh, Fire Sniper is always going to throw up defense break on the lowest HP target. And that's the one I'm going to focus down. My Fire Sniper is speed, uh, defense, HP. So it is really tanky. Uh, Fran is going to provide the immunity so I don't have to worry about the uh, AoE freezes and attack bar reset. And Iris is on despair, uh, revenge. So I figured, and with the passive, with the sustainability, uh, my Fire Sniper was not going to have any issue just surviving to land the defense breaks. Uh, now we saw Savannah derp, but even if she didn't derp, uh, turn one, uh, all three of these units are more than able to tank through a AOE uh, cleave sort of uh, methodology that they were going for with the Varad. Now there's no defense buff, so you didn't have to worry about overbearing damage. Now, as you see, like I said, my uh, sniper is on speed, HP, defense, or speed, defense, HP. Uh, in the hidden aim stance, uh, once he's been uh, hit, 200% uh, uh, attack power increase. So still was able to land 20k on a broken defense target. So still very uh, viable DPS mon. Uh, mine is missing one more skill up into the uh, hidden aim to make it every other turn. Uh, and has zero into his first skill, so that's only going to get better. Uh, now this was a uh, just a poor decision on my part. Um, I figured I was going to try to torrent my way out of this, uh, but uh, Verta Hill gets me with the Brox. I start working down the Realk, uh Rogue, so I can uh, kill it. Um, because if uh, Roke uh, gets a killing blow, he automatically gets another turn. So I was, I took a gamble on getting a turn before the Vertigo. And right here he procs, and that pretty much does me in. And then Sierra does Sierra things. So. Nine out of ten times I beat this defense. Not a bad defense, though. We'll move on to the next one. All right, we have Feng Yang, Fermion, and Wusa on defense. So defense leader skill, two defense base damage dealers. Um, and the best thing in this game is fixed damage. So anytime you can bring fixed damage, uh, you're in a good uh, situation. And that's why I brought Bulwark and Molong. Uh, trying to strip the shield because uh, the only thing that messes up a uh, bulwark is shields, so I want to be able to just uh, forbidden golder on him without the shield, so I get the maximum reduction in life. So they're going to do their little procs. That's fine. I'm going to heal up, and then I have invincibility on the Molong. I'll go ahead and snipe out the Feng Yang, and now I don't have to worry about defense break. As you see, that uh, Fermion is fairly tanky, and it's on violent or defense anyways opposed to just tanky 25% uh, chance to sleep you know Moose is always going to land it so at this point I'm just going to stall out and wait for uh, my 
skills to cycle uh, because, like I said, the defense break is no longer there, so the threat of uh, overbearing damage is now gone. And between uh, Wusa and my Luis, I will nearly always have five stacks. So all I've got to do is remove the shield from something, and then I'll be able to full heal. And just like that. So if you happen to have Molong and Bulwark, this is a very stable comp to use. Uh, you can use any two, uh, two uh, buffer. Anyone that applies two buffs. Uh, you don't necessarily need Luis. I just use it because extra healing and uh, invincibility if I happen to proc into it so I can uh, get a free snipe with them all along without having to worry about any uh, life loss on my side. But uh, I mean, if you wanted to, you could use Fran or you could use the... Uh, what else is there that does two buffs? You guys know. I'm drawing a blank at the moment. And at this point, just gonna head and wait it out till my turn cycle again. All right, now we have Molong. Kumar and Triana on defense, so I bring my standard uh, OP comp. I'm very comfortable with this comp. I know you guys have seen it a hundred times before. Um, just work my way around with the damage. Uh, Velo Jewel and Tyrannies are both uh, big DPS units uh, because I do have them built on defense, crit damage, defense, or speed, crit damage, defense. And then Lauren providing the attack bar reduction and the defense break uh, very reliably. Except for on turn one, for some unknown reason, mine just does not reduce attack bar on a skill one. Or turn one. Uh, Kumar on defense is a uh, hit or miss, uh, depending on procs. Uh, if he doesn't get that AoE silence, uh, he's not really much of a threat. That's why I brought Velo Jewel. That's why I use this particular comp. And I know Velo Jewel is going to be able to tank a couple of hits, even if he were procced out of uh, the Reckless Assault into Dragon Dance. Uh, my Vela Jewel would have probably still been standing. But that is that guild battle. If you guys see anything I missed, once again, leave it in the comments below. If you saw anything you like, leave it in the comments. Hit a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.